So an awesome hidden update was just discovered for the Oculus Guardian system and also we just had an update on the Steam VR beta with some awesome multitasking features. Hey, Ty here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, let's discover them together in this video. Let's get into it. Oh, by the way, welcome to the Road to 100K. I just announced this on my most recent video, so check it out over here. But well, what's the deal? Well, I'm gonna give away one Oculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year since we reach 100K. So yeah, let's make it happen. Like, it really helps a lot for the algorithm, so be sure to click that button, share, subscribe, and of course, Godspeed. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So let's start with the SteamVR update where the beta just gives a glimpse of what you're gonna arrive in the future. In the beta that you can download already right now, if you go on the SteamVR part, right click properties, beta, and you select the beta channel, of course. And well, you're gonna find yourself in the version 1.17.2. And what's particular over here? Well, they added the ability to add individual windows views in desktop view, and they added the ability to dock these windows to the left or right controller and see them also in games. In my case, of course, when I was trying to record it, well, some parts just disappeared and weren't working, some parts were working, then I restarted, some they completely disappeared. So yeah, uh, it's still a beta. But the ability that we have here is finally something that we wanted to see from very long time, because we have the same thing on the Oculus software from very, very long, since the CV1, actually. And uh, well, on Steam VR, we had to use different toolkits to actually do it. You might remember my video about adding your phone in VR. Well, there was using a toolkit and now you can do something similar uh, directly in there. Now, what's the particular thing here? If you press on the little plus button, well, you're gonna see all the windows open in your desktop and you can actually put those windows on a single page so uh, you don't have to use this desktop view every time. And also, if you click on the little controller icon, you can just bring it to your controller and have the different views over there, resizes and stuff, and bring it also in games. So while you're playing Half-Life Alex, you can actually have uh, your views, your Discord chat and something like that over there. While this is amazing, they're actually working on this finally directly in Steam VR. Well, you still miss many functionalities because besides the resizing, uh, well, you can't really move it in different orientation and stuff. So uh, it's actually always in the way uh, when you play, uh, but yeah, uh, it's a start, uh, they're starting over there, and uh, hopefully they're gonna be good enough to bring it uh, better in a stable version and with much more functionalities. But so far, great improvement. So yeah, if you're interested in that, just join the beta and well, you're gonna find it there when it works. Now, second are actually some garden options that were discovered by a YouTuber, um, Mr. Basti564. That by the way, if you check his channel, also has a guide on how to log in, actually, get in your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 without a Facebook login. So I know that many of you are interested in that. So uh, check out his channel, of course. And well, this time just browsing the code, they actually discovered new Guardian options. that are very, very interesting because they use even better the cameras that we have for the inside of tracking. So these options are in the system, but they're not added yet. So probably, and hopefully we're gonna see them in the near future. By the way, we have a Guardian intrusion detection. So that means that if a person or an animal, stuff like that gets in your guardian area, well, you're gonna be notified. You're gonna see it probably with red dots like we see right now when we get in the guardian every time and there's something that should be there. So while they should have to don't punch your friends while they're like playing Beat Saber, Pistol Whip or like all those games. Uh, so it's a very nice addition. They explain the distance and the field of view because the visualization will always appear within your Guardian boundary and it works up to three meters in front of you. This feature works best in rooms with ample lightning. So probably it uses these cameras to uh, see the light and if the light like dims in front of you, uh, they start to try to detect the object and stuff like that. That's why it's gonna work with the big objects and people and stuff like that, maybe pets, but not really with the small objects. That's why we have another little picture over there that explains that you're gonna see objects that are just larger than your hand. So if you have a little toy on the ground, well, you still have to be careful of it in a regular usage, clean your playing area and then start to play. But if someone gets in, well, now you're gonna be notified. 
Now, all of these raises some questions because, of course, we don't know what is the privacy of it. Probably we don't have any more information because it's not ready yet. And well, it's better to keep an eye on it. And the other thing is actually to bring the desk in your plane area. That might be related to the office space that we saw some time ago to actually bring also your keyboards and stuff. And having your desk would be very nice because we're already able to add our sofa. For example, in our space, if you're on the sofa and you're using your Oculus Quest, at least you can see that in the, the virtual environment as well. And it's gonna be very nice to also bring your desk. So at that point, you're gonna have your desk in there and if you work on your PC and stuff like that, you know where it is, you know where it's gonna be, your keyboard and stuff, and you have another point of reference over there. I'm really excited for the Office functionalities and I hope they're gonna see these updates very, very soon indeed. But yeah, here we have it guys, I wanted to share with you because for me, our very big updates, the Steam VR is very useful and hopefully it's gonna evolve in the right way, uh, like we saw with the Oculus dashboard, for example. And uh, well, on the Oculus part for the Guardian system, uh, I think it's very nice that we're gonna have a, a bit more awareness in the inside out tracking and for sure it's also helping them developing, for example, the AR glasses and something like that that we're gonna see uh, probably this year. So. Uh, super interesting indeed, and uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to share it with you. But yeah, do you think that Facebook is gonna use that data, or is it gonna be completely in headset like uh, apparently is the regular Guardian system? Let me know in the comment below, and as always guys, if you liked the video, like, if you did like the video, just like, subscribe to the channel for more of VR, and if you really love this channel, so join the button down there, little on further, also Patreon with prior access to videos, and at the same time we have t-shirts, sticker and masks, 2021 item number one. But for me it's all, and as always, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.